another day, another hotel. We are in Warsaw. I, I, I think we're like kind of on the outskirts of Warsaw, but we are in the Best Western Portos Hotel. And this is our room. Let's see what we got. All right. Oh, it smells nice. Very nice. The last one smelled a little funny, to be honest. So, oh, cool. Is this like for a laptop or something? I think so. Nice. A bigger TV, even though we didn't even turn on the last one. So what do we have? We have HDMI cables. So oh yeah, we do. Okay. Nice to see you, hotel team. Cool. Nice to see you too. And they it's drew so like nice. a flower on it. It's so nice. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> it's temporary. Cool. A nice uh, shower. Oh, yeah, sweet. it's so nice. It's so sweet. I never saw this kind of things before. They they roll it, yeah, by. by it looks maybe, like yeah, it looks temporary. Maybe it's a toothpaste or something. Right? <laughs> Oh, and there's water. Nice. And it's an hour earlier here, so it's 4:22. Pretty good. Nice to be. Uh, mm -hmm. Nice to be here much earlier than last time. We got we get we arrived in um, in Vilnius like 10 or 11 or something like that. So sweet. Let's check out the view as well. Nice. Oh, you can see the big road, and that's about it. And I think there's like three hotels that are kind of like all. Uh, part of the same chain here. I didn't see this from the beginning, but it's also very, very sweet. They they wrote us, have a nice day. And it's in English, so it's definitely for us. We are happy, we are in Warsaw, and we are going to explore the city, and we will share our experience with you guys. We just walk like, uh, I would say, maybe less than 10 minutes away from our hotel. And this is, uh, so just, we just ended up in like this park. We just mapped out directions to the nearest like shopping center and it's like 10 minute, a 10 minute walk and it's uh, through this park. It's pretty cool. Lots of families, kids, strollers and beautiful, beautiful weather, beautiful fresh. smells. Yeah, fresh. Yeah, everything smells uh, very nice here. <laughs> the <laughs> hotel smells nice, the park smells nice. And many cats. Oh yeah, many cats. bunch of cats. Good morning. Good morning, friends. Enjoy. We are uh, on our way to the center of Warsaw and uh, we checked out the website yesterday. We're trying to figure out how to how to uh, get around in the city. Uh, here we go. And uh, I've never seen a website that was so helpful in English in a foreign country. Like it, it explained everything, like how all the buses work, how the numbering system works, uh, where to buy tickets, and uh, etc. And uh, we we checked on the website where we can get a ticket. You have to buy them in advance to ride the bus. But luckily, like diagonally from our hotel, there's uh, this uh, machine that uh, gives you tickets. So uh, they cost like. 440 for it depends like there's a 75 minute ticket that's what we need to uh, to get to the center uh, it, it depends on how long you need to ride but 440 is just uh, just a little bit more than one euro and uh, yeah we're going to the center of Warsaw as far as I understand to meet up with a couple of friends of ours who we met when we were traveling in Myanmar uh, they were also traveling there from Poland and uh, we stayed at this meditation uh, center, I guess, meditation center with a bunch of monks was really interesting. And I, when when we said goodbye, I remember uh, I remember saying that we'll see them again. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. And today we will. So the bus stop is just right here. Like the hotel is uh, just on the other side of that building. Yeah. So um, so yeah, we uh, we will be and so we'll check out the, the city today. 
and it's really nice weather. Oh, it's beautiful. I shouldn't even yeah. have worn a sweater. It's like, yeah. it's close to 20 degrees, I think. Awesome. Really nice buses. Uh, it's super long. Oh, I guess you can see right here. And inside, it's really long, and there's this really convenient, uh, like, screen in there where you can see every single stop that they stop at and how many more minutes until you get to that yeah, stop. And even if you don't speak Polish, you can still understand something. At least you can read the letters because they're they're the same as in English. And um, if you know Russian, like we do, there's a lot of words that are quite similar and uh, also quite similar to Ukrainian. Yeah, I think it's more similar to Ukrainian. But first impressions, like just uh, like this, is literally the first time we've been in uh, in the center of Warsaw, in Warsaw ever, and uh, it's beautiful. Just looking out at the bus. Like, a lot of the streets are really wide. Um, just like this really open feel. And it seems really clean and pretty green. And I don't know, it looks good. That's what, I mean, Eva said several times as we were as we were on the bus. Yeah. That she's like, wow, I really like it. Mm. I really like it. Yeah, I mean, check it out. Look, it's like really cool. Yeah, I uh, and uh, like yesterday, one of my uh, English students was telling me that uh, Warsaw is, is sort of unique because um, it was like completely destroyed. At least the old uh, the old city was completely destroyed during the war, and they tried to like rebuild the old city with an old with a in the old style, some uh, an electric BMW, cool, or hybrid probably. All right, where are our friends? Here they are, our friends. Hey, hey. 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 hello, hi, hi. 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 friends. <laughs> Oh, it's so nice to see you again. Okay. I will take Oh, let's go see some more. So. <laughs> Sweet. I can't remember, did you say Tom or Thomas? Like, what should we yeah. call you? Tom. Thomas. Tom. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Like, Thomas is official and Thomas is like a short name. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Christina, or or I'm pronouncing this in the wrong way. Yeah, it's like internationally, Justina. Uh -huh. And in Polish, Justina. 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 Yeah, it's cool. Like Okay. Houston, Sweet, let's check it out. Yeah, is this like the, is this Houston, like the center or the yeah, like where are we? Uh, that's yeah, really close to the to, center, yeah, so to to, to as we go there, we <laughs> will uh, hit the old town, but we start from the park. So this is not considered old town either. Uh, like, well, not it's, yet. It's, 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 okay. the, it's the beginning. Like we are starting with the uh, better side of the Warsaw because. A uh, really big part of the Warsaw was uh, totally destroyed after the Second mm -hmm. World War. Right. So this is like uh, this is still nice, but we have some not very really nice areas. But we <laughs> can start with those. Nice well, what we've seen so far is cool. The, <laughs> like the bus ride was really nice. Like it. What's the name of this park? Oh yeah, so this is Park Saski. Now uh, this is gonna be like a real big tryout for my history. Uh, <laughs> Well, Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just shitting you. No problem. So this is Park Saski. Uh, uh, back in time, there used to be a big uh, palace over here, uh, but it was destroyed during the war, I guess. And uh, now the surface is completely flat. Still, there are uh, people here, like the Polish uh, Boy Scouts, what we call them, Harcerza, uh, which take uh, care of this place, so they're always here. Oh, cool. We can go, we can go right here. Harcerza? Harcerza, yeah. Wow, it doesn't sound like Polish. <laughs> yeah. Harcerza? 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 Yeah. It's like Polish Polish. Saxon really Garden in English, yeah. cool. Ogrod Saski. It's yeah. like an eternal flame here, and a, I guess like a monument to the unknown soldier, the tomb of the unknown soldier. And this uh, square here is is like where where they, all, they always have any like uh, Independence Day or or whatever, like national holidays, they'll all be right here, right in front of this uh, eternal flame. This is a cool walking street. Actually, it kind of looks like it's a regular street that's closed off. Is this usually a walking street or do people drive here sometimes? Well, uh, only some vehicles can drive it, oh, okay. but usually it's closed for just a pedestrian. Okay, so, so it's always closed. Cool. Uh, yeah, the majority of times it's closed. I just thought maybe it was temporary. Yeah. Cool. But it's, uh, it's crowded. So yeah. yeah. For sure, because this is Saturday, right? Yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, yeah, from uh, from what I know, it's just Saturday. <laughs> Can you tell us, please, like in a, in one sentence or two sentences, what was like? Uh, uh, there was nothing, yeah, like almost nothing, yeah, or so some. There was almost nothing here, but uh, people decided to rebuild this uh, this era in the old-fashioned way. I mean, uh -huh. uh, in the way that it used to be before the war. So, for example, we have those buildings here that were um, renovated 
with the specifics like uh, from the like the, there you have an year even there is uh, 89 uh, so this is like the year of uh, this building so yeah so all this area here is uh, renovated in an old fashioned way so and um how how was how was uh, I don't know how to ask it in English but like you are from Poland you are from Poland so probably all your relatives they they gone through difficult time through the war mm -hmm. and some of them probably died so how how is like what is like to have like like that when it's such there is such a big part in your family history like a drama part yeah. like for Canadians or for people in USA can you yeah. Like, what's the difference? I don't know. How, how well, can I put this question? Uh, yeah, I, I remember. I, I understand that it may be difficult for people to grasp the, the, to grasp the idea that, that there was a war. Uh, yeah, but the thing is that the war was in whole Europe. It wasn't only... Like, the Poland was in between, you know, German and Russia. Yeah. And there was That's like not a, the best place to be. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Through the ages. <laughs> yeah, the ages. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's look at let's, Run away, yeah. but basically, you know, you should, I, I don't know, you have to move forward. Yeah, there is a lot of trauma in the society, but not only in Poland, I mean, in Czechia, in Slovakia, in Russia, probably in Ukraine, in, in Germany, of course, as well. Yeah. So it's not like only we have a like, national trauma here. Yeah, but uh, the thing I wanted to tell you is that we were thinking back in my job how to. Uh, promote Warsaw as not a city which is like at all of this old bad history and uh -huh. stuff but it's like an undiscovered gem of, of this part of Europe so it basically is There's so much uh, nice stuff over here the economy is booming uh -huh. all the businesses are moving to Warsaw and to Poland basically so uh, I think this is a really good place to be that's why we're here this is the presidential palace <laughs> Today they're like trying to promote the tap water because people in uh, Warsaw are afraid to drink it and they say it's uh, it's good to drink so you can you can uh, try it So, uh, Warsaw used to be, the capital of Poland used to be Krakow, and then it became Warsaw. And uh, as far as I understand, that guy up there was responsible for moving the capital. This is a castle. And they're also celebrating like um, 100 years after the First World War now. Independence. Yay. Independence. Now we're in the historic old town. So many people. It's kind of cool. Usually we like to avoid places with tons of people, but it's kind of nice to be here on a Saturday and see so much activity. Cool, there's tiny cobblestone streets. A little bit tight, tight squeeze. So you could actually like go in this building somewhere like on the fifth floor and then go in the building, come out the building somewhere like on the first floor. So we've come out to the river and uh, this side, you know, has a nice walkway and the other side is uh it's like a, um, a reservation i think they call it so um reserve like a national reserve that's, that's not what they call it it's like a national forest i think is what you would call it so um yeah 
And it's also, it's very popular in the summer here, you can see. They have uh, lots of people gather there on the beaches. This is the library of uh, Warsaw University and apparently it's kind of popular because you can go up on the roof and that's what we're about to do. So this is like the other side of the library and this is really cool. I want to go up there and check that out. It's like this dome of a tree. Really, really cool. And this is free, just anybody can walk in here. Cool, so it's like this frame with vines growing on it. So basically the university, like the library is over there. Ah, the library is down there. It was cleaner, you can see that. You can see a little bit. <laughs> it's pretty weird to realize that we're on a roof. This is all, and there's, there's some stairs over there that go right over the uh, glass that are very famous, but they're, uh, they're closed right now. Cool, we're still on the roof. And you can see down into the library again. I think you can see how people are studying down there. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there's a person studying. <laughs> That's pretty creepy. And this is a Copernicus Museum. And this is a beautiful river of Warsaw. Yeah, where we were just walking. And we are on we're the still roof. on the roof. Yeah, we're still on the roof of this university. <laughs> Uh, and uh, yeah, it's so beautiful. I didn't expect war uh, that Warsaw is so so beautiful and has a wonderful architecture. So many uh, tourists. I think there are so many tourists here. Yeah, and there's a lot of Russians on the roof. <laughs> yeah. I didn't hear a lot of Russian before this, but there's a lot of Russians on this roof. And I'm very happy that we met our friends here. Uh, really, it's so uh, amazing to be with local people when they can tell you something what you're never gonna read in those, uh, I don't know, those guidebooks or travel books. Yeah. And uh, it's really nice. I'm happy that we are here. Some fishing. Yeah, just chilling, you know, in the middle of Warsaw. <laughs> cool, there's just this bouldering rock. My brother Dan would love this. Put sand down below. We just came to this. Uh, part of Warsaw across the uh, across the river. So there's a bridge we just walked over here. And uh, it's a lot cheaper to, to eat here. And um, you, you can tell that parts of it are sort of um, not as well kept, but there's some like super new buildings with security guards here. Uh, this part uh, is called Praga, I think, they, they, we, we've been told. And uh, we're about to try some traditional uh, Polish food. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Can you tell us what we ordered? Warszawską pizza. Warszawską pizza. So it's like a um, Warsaw dumpling with a meat inside. <laughs> with beer. beer. So uh, this is famous for serving in jars uh, so with see. some toppings. Like so, this is a dumpling with meat uh -huh. with a meat like a topping. So this mm -hmm. is a famous Warsaw dumplings. And what is here? Also uh, beef, I think it's beef. Beef okay. with uh, other type of dumpling. Mm -hmm. Cool, bon uh, appetit, bacon, guys. Bacon and uh, cheese. Bacon. So these things are kind of like the cipollini, right? Is that correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. Like a small cipollini. Small, tiny, tiny cipollini. So it's like potato with meat inside. And meat on top, of course. But. <laughs> <laughs> and some mushrooms and some sour cream as well. And yours? What do you have? I have. Oh. oh, you have with uh, forest uh, mushrooms, mushrooms and pesto. Yeah. And wooden fork. I don't even know what to say, but this is uh, another part of the city that we, uh, that we haven't been in yet. In this building, uh, we were told there's like a, it was a gift from the Soviet Union, I think, or from Stalin. There's uh, seven buildings that are like exactly the same as this one in Moscow. Really, really nice city. I've probably said that many times in this video, but we're really enjoying it. We just went underground and then we walked out <laughs> we didn't we went downstairs and then we just uh, walked out in the same level so this is like the central uh, subway station of Warsaw some tall buildings and I think we're gonna go up in that uh, Marriott Hotel building now there's a bar up there where there's a good view so we are now in the tall building and pretty cool Man, I think I should try to do a time lapse here. Warsaw. Here's a mall with a really cool architecture. Justin Timberlake Levi's. Maybe I should give me some of those. I can use after the next day. No, not in English. Okay guys, this is time to leave Warsaw and 
and uh, it was amazing. Uh, just a pity that it was only one and a half days, but it was amazing. Everything was so great. Our friends, beautiful Warsaw, beautiful hotel we were staying. It's the best Western hotel. Uh, actually, it's a really nice spot, you know, to, to stay in. They have three hotels there, here, like Start Hotel uh, Ato, Start Hotel Aramis, and the best Western. And um, uh, there is like bus station, I don't know, like 100 meters from the hotel. So we bus stop. Bus stop, yeah, bus stop. So it was very convenient for us. We we just we were take Hudson. We took one bus like straight to the center. And, and there's a grocery store right there. Yeah, grocery store right there, and a big parking lot. Um, just yeah, I really enjoy. I was saying Warsaw, and uh, today we have a new adventure. Yeah, we are going to Prague, but we're going to be filming in Russian, so we'll give you a bit of a summary and uh, and show you some shots from there. But uh, we're going to sort of be switching back and forth between Russian and English. 